this is Neko Noir One, and today I'm going to show you how to remove air bubbles from your resin using a heat tool or heat gun, um, also known sometimes as an embossing tool. Uh, please do not confuse this with an air dryer uh, or a blow dryer. A uh, blow dryer will not work at all the same, and I am telling you right now, don't use a blow dryer. Um, get one of these. I got this off of Amazon um, for... Oh, it was around $10, I think, and it has really worked for me. I use it every time I work with resin, and as you can see, it's not the cleanest tool in the world because resin is definitely one of the messier crafts that you can choose to do. <laughs> so what I did is I mixed one part hardener and one part resin. And I stirred this for a little bit over five minutes, and as you can see, there are lots of air bubbles, and there's a floating blue thing in there because I got a sprinkle in there somehow. Um, so if I was to pour this right now, um, it would it would dry hard, and you know it would be resin, but there are just so many air bubbles in there that um, it wouldn't look very good at all. <laughs> so this still, I'm gonna let sit for even longer. And just let all of the air bubbles rise to the top, and that way I'm going to be able to blow blow them out with the heat tool. Some people um, use a straw, and you can use it, use a straw. Um, I found that it's a lot slower, and also, um, personally, sometimes when I'm using a straw, I will breathe in more fumes from the resin. And so I prefer not to put my face that close to it and breathe it in. So this is, in my opinion, a much better option. So I've let this sit for a little while longer, um, about five more minutes, and most of the air bubbles have risen to, t to the top. Not all of them have though, which is fine. I'll show you why in a second. So I'm gonna take this heat gun, turn it on, and hold it about this far from the resin. And I'm going to move around over it and then bring it up because I'm also working with a plastic cup. And I don't want to melt the cup. Which I have done before and it was not pretty. So I've successfully removed most of the air bubbles. There are still some. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to get those out right now. So I have this mold here from Cat's Perfect Molds. I love it. It's um, a heart with headphones over it. And I have a glitter mixture that I made here, and I'm just going to put my resin in here. And I already have some more air bubbles in here, but you know, that's okay because I can use the heat gun right on this mold. However, I have to be extra careful not to leave it on for too long. Um, be especially careful if you're working with a silicone mold or something. Um, you know, all this stuff can melt and it's not very pretty when it does. So you might be able to see in there there are some air bubbles. So I'm going to take my heat gun and hold it pretty high above. See how I'm dipping it just enough to zap all of the bubbles out of there. So I'm going to do a double check on it. Make sure that there aren't any left over. So I see one here and I'm just going to kind of bring any bubbles on the bottom to the top with this toothpick. Check it. I don't really see any bubbles in here. I see one tiny one here, one tiny one here, and one tiny one here, which I'm going to get with the gun right now. And just target that spot.
Okay. Now, one thing to keep in mind, since I'm just doing um, a glitter mixture, if I was using, say, a sticker or a photo or objects that were light that I didn't want to be moved with the heat gun, I would want to leave, put those in after I was sure that there were no air bubbles. And also, if you're going to be inserting, say, a sticker, you want to make sure that there's extra resin in your mold or that you've coated it in resin already because if you don't, um, air bubbles can form underneath of that and you won't be able to see unless you're using a plastic mold like this. So thank you so much for watching and please be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe.